but you attach yourself to it at the end of the rope and it creates a resistance and you run down it, but you're running on the platform, so you're using the same muscles that you use when you skate. So it's supposed to simulate skate, your skating muscles. Cause we do a lot of running, but when you run, you're using totally different muscles. That's why you hear about everybody getting hurt, sports hernias and groin problems. That's why, because we run in the summer and then yeah. we're trying to minimize our injuries by trying to keep us using the same muscles. So. Somebody told me riding the bike is uh, using the same kind of muscles too. Yeah, and riding the bike, nothing's the same as skating. So no. no matter what, you're going to be out of shape when you're on the ice. But uh, one of the most important things you do, you got to stretch before us, obviously. That's obvious, but one, more importantly, stretch after. That's when, uh, that's when your muscles tighten up. So, you know, they really, yeah. after games, we're going right into the way we're doing a little cool down on the bike and then we're stretching for a good 10 to 15 minutes before we shower. That's why there's still some guys here that are they're just yeah. stretching and, you know, kind of shower on the You guys are young, so you guys don't do it yet, but when you get older, your muscles start to. Uh, Good time to start getting good habits yeah. when you're young. Yeah. But, you know, it's your job. You gotta, your body actually has to take care of. And you know, you're in danger. That's why we had so many injuries last year, and one of the reasons we fell short.